Hi, my crafty friends. You guys, I've had these spindles for a hot minute. So I have been working on, well, imagining in my head what our theme tree is going to be this year. So I thought, hold on, I can use these spindles with some of these ornaments that I got. I got like a package of them um, from Walmart. Now they don't match per se what we're going to, how the theme tree is gonna come together, but we're gonna make them match or go. Listen, I came pretty darn close. Wait till the end because I actually bought another pack that's exactly the colors I want, except for they're way too shiny. So I'm gonna end up using this paint on those. But anyways, okay, so I cut them down, the spindles down to how I want them. And then I'm just gonna paint them up with a little bit of chalk paint. I actually ended up doing two coats on this. I had sanded these, but um, to get all of the stuff off of it so that the chalk paint would stick a little bit better. And it didn't stick as great as I wanted it to, um, which is one coat, so that's why I went ahead and did two. So then I um, have, we're gonna do four ornaments right now. These are the ones that don't match, but um, we're gonna make them get pretty close. So anyways, this is acrylic paint, so we need multiple coats. Now, I could have easily painted it with chalk paint first and then just one coat of the acrylic over the top. That's what I think I'm gonna do for the other ones because as much as I love the other ones, um, I don't want them to be shiny. All right, so then I have these little eyelets. So I just kind of get it screwed in there, um, you know, and once you kind of feel it start to bite into the wood, then, and you get to that point where you're like, oh, I can't turn this little thing anymore. I always just grab something. I've got this little um, paint stick here and just kind of, it's not a paint stick, buddy. That's a paintbrush. <laughs> Anyways, and I just kind of twisted around. Man, words again today. Whew. All right, so there it is. That's what we're going to hang it from. And then I just wrapped a little bit of um, um, sandpaper around that as well and just kind of went in and sanded in some areas. I had sprayed this with some distressing spray first, but I wanted some of that raw wood to come through as well. So that's why I decided to go ahead and sand. Now I am spraying the ornaments with more of the distressing spray and I'm leaving the finials down below. Are those finials? No, spindles. Oh my goodness. Um, and then if some of that gets over the top of it, it's okay. I love the distressing spray friends because it gives everything such a cool look. Um, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hot glue them right on the end, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of twine, and I'm gonna use that as a layer to hold it together even more. So here's how they turned out. I'm obsessed. Okay, see the shiny ones in the bowl? We're gonna paint those, do some distressing to those two. All the same colors, but just to kind of knock off the shine. Thanks for watching.